Welcome to Dude RV. It's Friday. That means another episode of Friday's Finds. I sure, I sure appreciate you stopping by. And I want to give a special shout out thanks to Amp Road for sponsoring this week's episode of Friday's Finds. Amp Road has sent us... I'm real excited about this one. Amp Road has sent us a portable energy storage device a solar generator this is a 300 amp battery bank hold on gotta get, get, get the box open here let's kind of there we go now, i personally have I, I i don't own any solar generators I know, I know a lot of you probably are surprised by that, but since we're outfitting, getting, we're, we're geared up, we're putting together a truck camping kit. This is going to fit in very nicely. If you'll recall, if you remember, last week we introduced the set power 12 volt cooler, 12 volt refrigerator freezer from set power. This goes hand in hand with that. So we're gonna unbox it and see what all we have. We have the owner's manual, instructions, those are helpful. We have a DC to DC cord. And then we have our, our, our power brick. Very well packaged. Looks like it. So I have four uh, 120, 110 outputs we have a USB C uh, two USB and two USB C's and let me put my glasses on so that's your input two input points 12 volt 24 volt battery charger you can actually, uh, that's what, nope. 16.8, 12 amps. So you can hook that up to like a scooter, maybe scooter charger. That's interesting. But we don't need it because we have this one. So the DC power and AC power. Of course, it's been in shipping, so everything's dead. So we're gonna get it charged up, and we'll do some more work with it. So stay tuned, more to come. I put the glasses on to do a little reading. They, 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 uh, the instruction manual is, the words are really small. Well, I was plugging it in to get it charged. It shows that it, it arrived at 23% charge. Now, reading the instruction was very informative. This has a built-in MPPT charger, meaning you can buy any off-the-shelf folding solar panel and connect to this, and it'll charge. Uh, it's, a, it's got a smart charger, so no matter what the power supply coming in, it's going to rectify it and make it work and it will stop accepting a charge when it's completely full. All right, and it shows the output, input power in watts, output power in watts. So the brick plugs into this side, but from what I was reading, you could actually plug into either one of those and it'll accept it. And you can connect to the USB-C port and it will, and the USB-C will also accept charge. There's a lot of great information in here. 
So the objective, once we're completely charged, we're going to connect it to the set power freezer and we're going to see uh, if we can get at least 24 hours of freezer operation out of this battery bank. So I've been working with the Amp Road battery bank, the 300 amp battery bank for a couple days now. Still, still figuring it out. I'm, I'm new to this. Never owned one before. Uh, but I, one of the things I found that's really great about it is you can charge it while you're using it. So right now I have it connected to the the self power portable 12 volt freezer and that's running it's pulling 25 watts of power dc uh, and there's 51 watts of ac coming in the battery is showing 100 percent charge so it's just basically maintaining one of the really neat things i've i found is it has a 12 volt plug and it comes with this dual mail so you can if your bat car battery dies you can plug that in and it'll it'll pass both ways so not only can you charge it from your car but you can charge your car from that provided the amp road power station has power to share one of the things that i've learned while working with the 12 volt freezer is they have this sectioned off into different circuits so right now i'm charging on the the left side and powering through the 12 volt if i were to move the charge over to this usb-c to charge this circuit would be turned off so to operate the 12 volt cigarette lighter, you gotta be plugged into the left side. It's all explained in the owner's manual. Once you figure it out, it's not too awfully challenging. And it's got some super bright lights. Front and back. So now the compressors huh. DC power went off. Interesting. So when you turn the LED lights on, it turns off the 12 volt output. That can be irritating unless it's on that particular circuit. I don't know. Got to work with it a little more to figure it out. More to come. Just had a realization with the, the Amp Road battery bank. So we only have one 12 volt output, input. It's the same, either way. There's only one cigarette plug and you get the, you get the dual male. But if I wanted to connect this so that it's powering the electric cooler while I'm driving and the, the truck has turned off the power point, and I, I don't have any way to put this in, in between. Or do I? No, because it's got a... Yeah, I do. You just put a. <laughs> I just figured out what I'm gonna do. Hold on, I'll show you. Very simple solution. I have a 12 volt cigarette plug splitter, and I've plugged that into the amp road, and then one leg goes to the truck power point, and the other goes to. The, the refrigerator so now when the truck turns off that power point this will still be active and it will keep my beverages cold 
until I get to the until the truck started again and when I start the truck again that will be charging the battery bank as well as powering the cooler <laughs> okay more to come so there's a couple of reasons that I'm really excited about the the amp road battery pack the lipo 4 solar generator from amp road now this does have built-in charge controller so you can plug a solar panel into it and it'll it'll manage that power itself what i'm really excited about is number one i have a roiby a collection of roiby tools and batteries i found a 12 volt battery charger for roiby batteries i carry that in the truck all the time but now I don't have to start the truck to charge the Roy B batteries. And I've got lights and saws and drills and drivers. The other reason I'm really excited is I have I have a, a, a half sleep apnea. And I've slept with a CPAP machine 20 plus years. And and I'm dependent on that CPAP machine. I, I don't sleep at all without it. ResMed, in my opinion, makes one of the best CPAP machines on the market. That is the quietest thing. I love it. Uh, but until recently, I was tied to 110, 110 power. But I did find that ResMed, at one time in the past, made a 12 volt brick with a cigarette lighter plug there's a cigarette lighter plug on this battery bank and check it out the CPAP machine is coming on that means I can tent camp now and have my CPAP. I don't have to have electricity at the webs at the site. Oh, hold on, I got hair on the. There's a Ziva hair on there. With the Ampro solar generator, I can power my CPAP machine, and it should last all night. So I'm going to be connecting, I'm going to be sleeping with the battery bank tonight. We're going to see how, if I can go the whole night and how much of the charge it will deplete. When I retire tonight, that's how I'll be powering the CPAP machine. Last night was a really good night. I actually slept for eight hours with the CPAP machine being powered by the amp road. The Amp Road 300 watt battery bank. Surprisingly enough, uh, I didn't didn't really know if it was going to make it all night. We're down to 11 percent. I think that's really great. My CPAP, I, I didn't adjust the warmer for the water tank or the heated hose uh, when I first put the CPAP on it was pulling like 60 watts but once it warmed up at the hose temp and the, the cha water chamber temp or once they reached uh, that preset level the consumption dropped so when I first went to bed I didn't like 60 watts man that's gonna go quick but I toughed it out so my thoughts of the, the that little amp road well worth the investment if you if if you want to just have some power in case you lose power at home if you're traveling anywhere i highly recommend you have one of these little battery banks from amp road great investment and if you're camping you really need to you really you really want one of these if you're camping it's durable it's quiet there's no fan uh it has 
I wouldn't say you're gonna power a big refrigerator or and a lot of stuff with it but it'll charge all your your gear and it'll power your CPAP overnight so you can't get much better than that so the, the amp road solar generator is available on Amazon I am an Amazon affiliate you'll find links in the description below as well as in the the card above that'll take you directly to the 300 amp solar generator from amp road i do earn a little revenue if you click on one of those links it really helps support the channel and i i, I really appreciate that thank you so click on it check it out see if it fits your needs if you found this video to be helpful in any way please consider clicking on that thumbs up and sharing me across your social media that really helps with the youtube algorithm I'd be honored if you'd also consider clicking on that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. If you've already subscribed, that's why I'm out here this morning. I do that for you guys. Thank you so much for the opportunity and for my patrons. You rock. All right, y'all go check out that Amp Road power station and we'll see you next Friday. Got another really cool one coming up. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?